We have fought for love, and I can say that I've never been happier. I am with my best friend. They broke their silence on the headlines that nearly broke them. I wanted to die. There were days where I wanted to die. One year after they made their final GMA appearance. You know, it's too bad it's Friday. Is it? TJ and Amy are telling their truth and laying their lives bare. We have gone through, I think it's fair to say, a year of hell. But we have had each other through it all. The co-anchors turned couple launched their podcast only days after making their romance red carpet official. TJ and Amy smiled and joked in front of the cameras, but behind the microphones, they revealed the true toll of the fallout after their relationship was exposed to the public. I just didn't want to get up. I didn't want to see what new headline was going to be out there. When photos were first published of the two of them, together last November, they first agreed they would stay on the air. I want this one to keep going and going and going. But TJ and Amy recounted the terrible story of what had happened only hours after what would turn out to be their last broadcast. You had to do a welfare check, I guess is the best way to put it. You sent me a text basically saying, I'm sorry, you were the love of my life. And you just kept saying you were sorry, but you were using past tense in the entire text. But I was so afraid that he had done something. And I started to cry. And my mom looked at me and she was like, you have to go down there right now. You need to go check. And I remember it was the most awful thing, having to touch your body to see if you were warm. I said, baby, tell me you're okay. Tell me you're okay. And you were kind of just making no sense, but I knew you were alive and I knew you were gonna be okay. <laughs> then one year ago, today. We were told not to come into work. Yeah, uh, we never got a follow-up call to say come back. <laughs> <laughs> it was a made for the tabloids scandal. Both TJ and Amy were married at the time, but today they are denying that any cheating was going on. To be clear, we were outed our <laughs> as being in a relationship but everyone else thought we were being outed as adulterers. We had both, at that point, been, were in divorce proceedings. Yes, we had attorneys, mediators. We were in the middle of divorces. I hadn't even told my mom about the divorce. We saw things that were 100% wrong. They were fabrications, they were lies. So what's next for these former news anchors turned podcasters? I'm in love with this woman and she's in love with me and we are planning a life together. You can't imagine what it feels like until the tables are turned and, and mm. we experienced it. We're not asking for anything but just open minds and open hearts.